Memorial Day is celebrated across the country with cook-offs, parades, and community festivals. The tradition in the city of Hialeah is to hold an official ceremony to remember fallen heroes with notable speakers. While Memorial Day specifically addresses those who have died while serving in the armed forces, the spirit surrounds all who serve to protect, defend, and maintain security for our country. This includes our law enforcement officials and other first responders. We thank all of you for your service to our nation. We are indebted to you. The ceremony took place at Triangle Park in Hialeah where locals, city officials and families of war veterans gathered to share their stories and thank all those who have served. Every day should be Memorial Day. Every day we should remember those men and women that gave their lives, those men and women that served, served us every day, again to protect those freedoms the way of life that we take for granted day in and day out. To us in the city of Hialeah, we welcome you. This is a tradition that will always be here and we will never forget our heroes. One of these fallen was a friend of mine from the Naval Academy. Lieutenant Michael McGreevy, or Groove as we called him, was a Navy SEAL serving in our Operation Enduring Freedom, fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan in 2005. Along with seven other SEALs and eight Army Night Stalker Commandos, he died in a heroic attempt to rescue his fellow SEALs who were under fire. Today, I will pause. To remember Lieutenant Grevy, to remember his widow, and his young daughter, hoping that they know that this day is for him. That Americans are taking time today to honor those who've given their lives for this country. <clears throat> let us never forget, nor let our children forget how fortunate we are to have the most professional, all-volunteer fighting force the world has ever known. Safeguarding our freedoms, <clears throat> doing whatever it takes to protect our country. Your presence here today is a testament to the American people. The American flag was not the only visible example of symbolism of patriotism on Memorial Day, but a unique assembly of a dining table also held significance. The table was meant to show concern for our missing men and women with a single red rose placed on a vase. The white cloth symbolized the purity of their motives along with a pinch of salt, representing the tears endured by those missing and their families who are still seeking, as explained by Vice Commander Gary E. Cardenas. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith to sustain those lost from our country, founded as one nation under God. The glass is inverted. They cannot coast with us at this time. The chairs are empty. They are missing. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. While attendees were moved by all the speeches and presentations, one in particular shared by Commander Larry Sheets had a profound effect. Miles Eckert was excited when he found a $20 bill in the parking lot of an Ohio Cracker Barrel recently. The eight-year-old boy planned to buy a Lego video game with his unexpected windfall, but fate took him in a different direction. While dining in the restaurant with his family, he noticed a uniformed member of the Air National Guard at a different table. Miles wrote a message on a post-it note and presented the $20 to the man who was dining with his own family. Dear soldier, the note stated, my dad was a soldier, he's in heaven now. I found this $20 in the parking lot when we got here. We like to pay it forward in my family. Today is your lucky day, thank you for your service. Miles Eckert, a gold star hit. The recipient of the note, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Daly, was moved. It's incredible being recognized in such a manner. I look at it every day, Daly said. Miles was only four weeks old when a roadside bomb in Iraq took the life of his father, Army Sergeant Andy Eckert, in 2005. While Andy was denied the opportunity to raise this outstanding young man, we can all imagine how proud he would be of his son's commitment to pay it forward. The gesture of paying it forward is one embraced in our city year after year, even by the little ones. 
The folding of the flag served as a tribute symbolizing eternal life, patriotism, womanhood, and fatherhood, among other things. A gun salute also took place performed by our Hialeah Police Department Honor Guard. Although it is a day in which many mourn, it is also a day many show gratitude. These fallen heroes have fought to secure our freedoms and their efforts shall not go in vain. In an uplifting and bittersweet act, a balloon presentation with local Cub and Girl Scouts took place, where each balloon was released as the name of fallen heroes from Hialeah were read. Each of those individuals fought in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan, and the Siege of Beirut. The event was sponsored by First Bank of Florida. For Hialeah TV 77, this has been Tanya Leitz.